fire in Blanco County that swallowed up a fire truck. It's destroyed. The question now is who will pay for a replacement? And we have new information about the wildfire that charred more than 200 acres near Johnson City from the person who lives where it started. It may be contained now, but it is still burning. Fire crews are working to put out the hot spots. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell tracked down the homeowner today to find out what happened and what the consequences could be in a situation like this. This is the house where it all started. The homeowner told me he was using a barbecue pit in his yard yesterday, and when he was done, he watered it down and put a lid on it. But firefighters say the wind blew one coal out, and that's what sparked this massive fire that went way beyond this man's yard. Firefighters say it's lucky no homes, people, or livestock were harmed in the 206 acre wildfire. The only thing that didn't make it out this, one of Johnson City's most important pieces of equipment. It's a needed truck. It's our, it's our heavy hitter, go-getter. And Captain Michael Guthrie says they lost it at the worst time possible. In the middle of the summer, uh, going into a pretty good fire season. State law says sometimes the person who causes a wildfire can be held accountable. But in this case, Johnson City won't go after the homeowner. It's a pure accident. A uh, guy was just doing a little grilling, trying to cook some steaks for his family. Uh, he was taking pretty good measurements to make sure everything stayed contained. The homeowner did the right thing, calling 911 immediately. Captain Guthrie says if someone in a similar situation doesn't take the right steps, they could be in a lot of trouble. If a life, home, or vehicle is taken and the person responsible is found to have been reckless or negligent, well, yes, we'll, we'll, at that point we can go after them. Captain Guthrie says insurance money will pay for part of the cost of replacing this truck, but the fire department has already also applied for an emergency grant to pay for the rest of it. In Blanco County, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News.